So um, what we had before was that we found that equation 1 from a while ago is just equal to 55vn is equal to 4v0 plus vg. Our second equation was just equal to uh, 36v0 is equal to 8.75 times 10 to the fifth uh, vg uh, minus 87, and then here's this really large number, uh, vn. So uh, we can just make, we can do this matrices or just do a substitution. I'm just going to do a substitution. From this, from this first equation, we know that vn is just equal to all this. Uh, over 55. Now I'm just going to sub this this Vn into for this Vn. So we know that from equation 2, thir uh, 36V0 is equal to 8.75 times 10 to the fifth Vg minus 874999V uh, Vn, which now we actually have an equation for. Vn is just equal to, like I circled above, 4v0 plus v plus vg over 55. So now uh, this would just simplify down to 8.75. I'm just going to write this on the other side. I'm just going to write this down on the other side. So. We have 36v0 minus 8.75 times 10 to the fifth vg is equal to, and if you were to distribute uh, this to all of this, you would find that it would just equal negative, uh, yeah, negative 636.29v0 minus 15909.07 VG, and that's just simple distribution. So and then if we were to subtract, um, if we were to add uh, this 63636.29 V naught to this 36, uh, you would find that it would just be equal to 63672.29 v0, and if we were to add this negative uh, 8.75 times 10 to the fifth over to the right-hand side, it would just be equal to 8590.90.93 vg. So now we actually have an equation that just contains v0 and vg. So from these two equations, both containing vn, v0, vg, uh, vn, v0, vg, we've now isolated it so that uh, we have this one equation just in terms of v0 and vg. And in the beginning, uh, the actual problem that we're, we're trying to solve is to find the gain. And the gain, as they described, is just, is just labeled as v0 over vg. Now since we have v0 and vg, we can actually find it. So the gain would just be v0 over vg, which is just equal to this whole number divided by this whole number. So 8590.90.93 over 63672.29, which if you were to divide it, it would just be equal to 13. Just be equal to 13.4. Nine, and that is your gain. This is the gain. So that was part A of the question, find the gain. And part B is actually really, really simple. Now that we actually have the gain, all part B was trying to ask us, all part B was asking us to do is to find Vn and Vp um, if Vg is equal to 1 volt. Well, that's easy because we already have equations for Vn and Vp in terms of all, all, all the known values now. So if Vg is equal to 1 volt, um, we can actually just use this equation of uh, Vn right here. So first let's find, let's find Vn. And, and this, so this is part, we just finished part A of the question, this is part B. So Vn and Vp we're looking for. 
if VG is equal to VG is equal to one volt. So, so already uh, over here, we know that VN is equal to four V zero plus VG. over 55. So that would just be 4 times V0. Well, what's V0? V0, from, from this gain equation, V0 divided by 1 now, because since VG is 1, is equal to, well, we already know that's 13.49. So 4 times 13.49 plus VG, which is 1, over 55 is equal to what? And if you were to do this, you would just find that 4 times 13.49 plus 1 over 55 is just 0 0.9992727. So they actually asked us just to do, and this is volts, of course, and they asked us to get the answer in millivolts, so that would just, you know, move this over three places, and you would, it would just be equal to 999.2727 millivolts. And so that's our answer for... V n. So now I'm just going to start a new page. So now using that equation we had a while ago for V p, we said that V p way back when was equal to 0 0.7 V g plus 0 0.3 V n. After doing the, the really simple voltage divider across that one part of the wire. So now we have um, now we just find our VN value, so we can find VP, since we know VG is equal to 1. So just be 0 0.7 times 1 plus 0 0.3 times the number we just found, which was, and we, we had to put this in volts, not, not millivolts. 9992727. So that would just be, so you, if you were to do this algebra, you'd just find that VP is equal to 0 0.9997. I would just say 782. So this is just equal uh, volts. So this is just equal to 999.782 millivolts. And these are your answers for VP and VN. So we did um, all parts of the problem now. We found the voltage gain V0 over VG, which was 13.49, uh, by basically doing nodal analysis from those two nodes that we saw in the beginning. Then we found VN and VP uh, when VG was equal to one volt, uh, essentially off the uh, part A of the question, all the values that we originally found. So this has been an example of a non-ideal operation amplifier with specified uh, internal uh, input and output resistances and the um, and 50,000, a value of 50,000 for our A. So this has been an RPR tutoring video. If you have any questions, just comment below.